I'd be done seeing about everything when I see an elephant put out a fire. Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Foolery. And today we are checking out the Snout Spout. Let's see if it's worth the money. First, we're gonna check out the box and see what comes in the box. Secondly, we're going to check out the design. And thirdly, we're going to see if this thing can do a squat. And we're going to go over the articulation. And finally, we're going to see if this thing is worth the money. And this is my patented BDSM system. Oh boy. We'll work on that. Okay, so, Snout Spout. I wasn't familiar with this character. I'm only familiar with the He-Man characters and the toys that I had when I was tiny. I had He-Man, I had tons and tons of Mothman and Beastman. I did have Cyc uh, Cyclone and Sunman, but never Snout Spout. I think it might have been too goofy for me. But first, let's see if this box is better than your mother's. This box better than the box it was held in. First thing you notice, made in Vietnam, uh, opening music. This is cute. Um, this box is trash, so let's see if the inner box is better. This box better than the box he was held in. So, we have this awesome artwork of Snout Spout in the front with his fireman axe on the front. Uh, and this wraps around to the back. This is a super duper awesome way to use your box. Yes, you only have two pictures, but they're big, they're in charge, they take over the whole screen, and that's phenomenal. Also guys, if you're still here with me and you're listening, I will be giving away a snout spout if this video hits a thousand views. I will ship it to whoever. So share, like, subscribe, make sure this video gets uh, pumped out. I know a thousand views doesn't seem a lot, but this actually would be the second video on my channel that got a thousand views if that hit it. If I hit a thousand views with this, I will be giving away a, a snout spout. Also. I will be giving away a Flashpoint Flash just for the fact that I hit 50 subscribers and I appreciate you guys for that. So if you're here and you're subscribed, I will be giving away one of those at the end of March of 2024. But let's continue. This is awesome artwork on the box. Definitely better than your mom's. Now let's check to see. Oh, what's in the box? And in the box we have Snout spout strapped to a cardboard board, which is fine. I will cut him free in a second. And then, just because we were still talking about boxes, look at, oh, there we go. Look at that piece of artwork. Um, the continuation of the artwork that was on the box, the inner box, uh, outer box actually. And you get this artwork that continues to give you a little playset on the back. This is really, really cool artwork. Kudos to them for giving us three pieces of separate artwork, even though one is a continuation of the other. It's still a separate piece. That is more than some people give us. Sometimes we just get one. This one gives three. Kudos to them. So we get Snout Spout, and we get the things that complete Snout Spout. I don't consider those accessories because he's not Snout Spout without them. So I'm gonna keep saying Snout Spout because it sounds weird. Snout spout. Um, his water effect and some separate hands. Will Mills have shot you for this? Will Mills have, uh, should have Mills shot you for this? And the answer is probably. Um, normally I don't have a problem with the Masters and Universe's toys, but the, uh, this one was a uh, Mattel creation. It was more expensive than it normally is. And you had to pay shipping on it. This actually ran up way higher than it normally would have if it was in retail. If this toy was just $30 and you didn't have to pay shipping, absolutely, I'd be like, okay, cool. Totally worth it, even with these little accessories. But for $33 and having to pay shipping, because I don't think they have a, a plan where you can get free shipping from Mattel, I'm disappointed with the level of accessories. Like, Basically, all you gave me was 
a water effect, which is really cool. A water effect, his axe, and two alternate hands. That is just unacceptable for that price. I get it, once again, a mold that you'll probably never use again, even though this looks very familiar to some other figures that we have. So there is some reuse in it. It's just, the head is not, I guess. I, you know, just a little disappointed for th uh, $33 and shipping, how much this thing, uh, how much, how little accessories you get. But let's check out the figure and see how the design stacks up to this awesome artwork. Here we have Snow Spout completely uh, assembled and he is an awesome looking toy with some decent articulation. Um, at the design, he looks one for one with this cool artwork on the side, as you can see, not missing a beat, looking just like the picture that they created. So that is a huge plus. Uh, the character looks exactly like they planned him to look, even with the piping in the back of the eyes to give him that glow. That's phenomenal. Yeah, not much to say. He looks just like the photo. That's all you can ask for. It's like, hey, this character looks just like he's supposed to. Um, I love the fact that they have water gauges in the back of his, his costume, which is super cool. And this looks just like a normal Masters of the Universe uh, Revelations Revolution figure. Besides that, really awesome head. Uh, the rest of it just seems generic. And no offense to it, generic for Master of the Universe is not a bad thing because their sculpts are usually phenomenal. Just it just seems like the same old, same old that we have with other figures. Well, let's see if this thing can do a squat. In the head. Yeah, it's all so this thing has some really interesting articulation. The snout, that's also a spout, has the has articulation in one, two, three, four, five segments. Some of the articulation is a little bit better than the other parts. Some of it's a little stiff that makes it a little harder to control. That's fine. Uh, he does have double jointed knees. If you get out the way hose that I'm, it's fighting me and I'm not gonna break it because I would like to give away one of these uh, snout spouts. Um, he has a bicep swivel. He has a single jointed elbow, which probably will stop him from doing a, yeah, he's not gonna be able to do a squat. He can't get his hands above his shoulders. Can he at least T-pose? Yes, he can. How far can he go up? Decent. He's going, he's at least going 90, so that's fine. Um, he's not gonna get into a squat pose. You're not gonna do superhero landing with him. He does have good articulation in the chest though. So he might be able to get into a fairly decent pose. Let's see how good you get him down on one knee. Get him down on one knee, no toe articulation though. And eh, I'm pretty sure someone who's a little bit more rough with their toys and uh, could get him a little bit further down to get that elbow down, but without a different torso. And like I said, getting decent poses out of him, just not the greatest. Not something that you want, this is not a superhero pose. This is, I'm about to get knocked down and I can't get up pose. For some reason, my left knee is not fighting me and I'm not gonna fight with it right now. So let's grab a couple of my Masters of the Universe figures and see how he stacks up. And then we can talk about the money. Here's now spelt with Oh, I, you know what? I take it back. I was being a jerk. He's actually bigger than the other figures. I thought he was a generic man. He is not. He's actually bigger than even uh, roided out He-Man. Or maybe roided out He-Man should be bigger. Here's Prince Adam, roided out He-Man. I didn't realize how small roided out He-Man was until um, I got Snow Spout. Okay, well then I take back every criticism I had about Snout Spout. I thought he was a tiny man. He is not. He is actually big and beefy and everybody loves a big beefy man. 
That's what she said. With that being said, the money. It's now spelled is 33 bucks. Not that bad, especially for a deluxe figure. At first I was mad that it was considered a deluxe figure, but seeing him compared to one of my favorite figures from this uh, line, the He-Man, uh, the Savage He-Man, he is totally worth the money. I was uh, I was mistaken to think that he was smaller than the other figures. I, I am a little disappointed in the accessories, but the fact that he is actually a way bigger sculpt than the other heroes totally makes it worthwhile. The articulation, not the greatest, but he is a big beefy boy. He has uh, articulation in the ears, the snout, and he has decent articulation in the rest of his body. He also gave me somewhere to store the axe, and I always appreciate when people do that. Totally worth the money. Go out and buy it. And if you don't go out and buy it, get help me get this video to a thousand views so that I can give you guys one of it. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.